Sean Irwin. Six foot four, 200 pound freshman. Where's Sean from? Do you uh, know? He's from Alberta. I think he's from Edmonton, Alberta. How many kids on this team are from north of the border? I think uh, a good portion, probably about 45%, 40%. It's funny when you go on the ACHA website, it says their hometown is Logan. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm pretty sure not. Yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> Coach Echo's fault, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll blame it on John. Yeah. That Burn and Irwin looking up. Irwin has a nice shot on goal. And McGrath thinks about sending it back out, but sees too many white jerseys coming down the pipe there and wisely freezes the puck, allowing for his defense to come back and help him out. 12.53 to go in the third period now. 7-2 Utah State with a commanding lead over a pretty good Colorado team that's, I think, is not on their game tonight. Might be a little tired from the travel. They played last night against BYU. Anytime somebody's playing BYU, I root for the team who's playing BYU. Whether or not it's Colorado, I don't care. Puck goes up and over the net. Boy, and you're right. You can see it from... Uh, from Colorado, they're just uh, they're hoping that clock goes a little faster. It's going by really slow right now for them. <laughs> they keep looking over the clock operator, thinking he hasn't turned it on. See our coach with his face over his <laughs> or his hands over his face. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get a uh, talk to uh, Coach Sean Sullivan before the game, and I'm certain he does not want to talk to us after the game now. <laughs> Point in the past just never materializes there for Utah State. Who's the best uh, puck handler, stick work on your team? Uh, puck handler? Yeah. Uh, there's a couple guys I would nominate. Uh, Gibbons and McDonald and, and, and uh, Sanders from, from defense. Great puck handlers. And Gibbons demonstrates right there what you're talking about. Nice pass and a good curl. See the fourth line's getting a, a shift here for the Aggies. Who's on the fourth line? Uh, Tyler Firth is number 17. He's newly acquired for uh, second semester. Luke Cummings is playing the middle, and uh, David Reeves is on the other side. How well, smartly Coach Echols gets that fourth line in so they can get some game time experience before they move on down the line and into the playoffs. We hope deep into the playoffs. Exactly. I saw that Stony Brook moved up to uh, D1. Yep. So that's good for everybody in D2. <laughs> Perennial powerhouse. Penalty. I didn't see the signal. Did you see it? Yeah, it was a boarding call. Took too many steps. What does that mean, took too many steps? Well, you're not allowed to take over uh, four or five steps from where before you hit the guy. So you're not allowed to come across the ice full speed and, and, ah. and hit somebody. So you really have about four... Four strides before you can board somebody. Exactly. Huh. See, I learned something new right there. The football player learned something about hockey. <laughs> Takes time. <laughs> well, let me tell you, the first year we did this, we didn't know anything about it. We got some calls from people who did. <laughs> so we're learning. We hope that our Valley Channel audience is learning as well with us. Number 15, Tyler Moore's gone for boarding just like you called it and Utah State on another power play Martin with the puck calls for it back at the blue line shots a little wide nice play by Mass nice. Woo! 
Boy, great save. Great save by Sandro. I haven't kept track of his saves tonight, which I typically have done in the past, but he's got to be pushing 25 saves tonight. And most of those coming in the second and third period. Colorado didn't get a whole lot of shots on goal in the first period. They were too busy grabbing the puck out of their own net. McDonald centers it back. Sanders happy to let the offense get set up and ready for a charge. Nice pass. Guthrie has a good shot. McGrath sends it away. Got lucky there. <laughs> Looking for a tripping penalty, but he's not going to get it. Mostly because he turned away from the defender, I think. Sanders looking to set up his buddy Guthrie. Those guys must be roommates or something because he's tried to set him up three or four times in this period. And they called that frozen puck in a hurry. Kerr's mixing it up again. I didn't sort this uh, stat sheet by total penalty minutes. I don't know who has the most penalty minutes, but uh, if you were just to guess, who gets the most penalties on your team? Uh, definitely Jordan Kerr. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that. Just by watching him play. He definitely, he definitely takes the title. Some, some guys just play angry. Cleared out. Utah State has to chase it down. Power play at an end. Utah State couldn't capitalize on it. Still up 7 2 with 8.26 to go in the third period. The you know, offsides call against Utah State. We're glad the officials even made it. Apparently, they had a hard time getting here. We had a 20 minute delay before the game started. You didn't know that at home. If you're watching the Valley Channel, we just stopped the tape for a minute. Waiting for him to get here through the snowstorm. I got to get a job in St. George. I hate snow. <laughs> Kerr drops that in. Utah State goes and gets it. Utah State in the past and this year it looks like as well has a lot of really fast skaters. It's definitely our forte. Finally, the puck frozen against the pad as Sandra Milan sits on one more for another save tonight. The officials get in between a couple of uh, Colorado and Buffaloes and Aggies. A bunch of bovines meeting at the net. <laughs> Just tell them to relax. What are the officials telling them down there? Pretty much relax, or else you're going to get kicked out. <laughs> Take it easy. It's 7 2. <laughs> For the face off and quick shot for Colorado. Number 12, Sam Kinney. Scratch that. That was 22. Gets a quick shot off. It's Brennan Steinecker. Sets back up for another face off and face plants it immediately. Utah State's going to get this puck and kick it out. Look to go on the offensive this time. Armitage there to pick it up. Kerr floats it back into the Colorado end of the ice. Colorado can't clear it. There's a nice pass across the middle. And good save by McGrath. Higgs goes head over heels trying to get to that puck. 
What's the best nickname on the team? Keep it clean. <laughs> well, that's a tough one. Uh, there's nothing really too crazy. I mean, it's just pretty much the shortening up the last names. Oh, yes. Wow. Sandro saves that from his back. No. Nice pass from McDonald. Gets fancy. Forgets to take the puck with him. Broken stick on the ice. There's an open ice check for no apparent reason except for the fun of checking somebody. That's what I love about hockey. In any other sport, if a piece of equipment lays on the field or court, they stop and pick it up. Nope, not hockey. Keep playing. There's a big chunk of wood out there. McDonald's going to get a penalty. And get a little pine time. And contemplate his mistakes. <laughs> oh, there's a little scuffle going on on the far side over there. I don't know what started that. 88 Reeve in the middle of it. Haven't called his name a whole lot tonight. Hepburn's over there as well. Oh, and there's Guthrow pops out, number nine. Guthrow, he's got a... <laughs> Mr. Guthrow just got uh, ejected from the game with 6.19 to go. And don't make the small guys mad. They got that small man's complex. They're going to punch somebody. Five foot nine, 165. I didn't see exactly what started that fight over there. We're in a replay for a second, but did you see what happened? Yeah, I think it was Guthrow who went in there. <laughs> Just went in there and decided to pick a fight. All right. I think, well, he, had, I think he had enough. He's hitting the showers. Yeah, I think he got, hopefully only got a 10-minute misconduct. Either way, 10-minute misconduct or disqualification will send you out of the, out of the rink with only 6.19 to go. They're trying to sort it out there on the ice. The two captains standing at the score table. And the uh, official ordering some fries and a shake. <laughs> oh, my son's sitting next to me, and I, I just had a great idea. I think we might stop and get a Frosty and some fries at Wendy's, one of the sponsors of the Valley Channel Game of the Week. What do you think about that? Oh. You, you're down for that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, my good friends is the owner of Pier 49 Pizza. And they make the best pizza on the planet. My favorite is the barbecue chicken. You know, I keep trying all the other ones, and they're good. Man, I love that barbecue chicken pizza. You know, if I knew you'd be our color guy, I would have invited you back. We have pizza before every game. <laughs> Hopefully I get back out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If not, then yeah. You're tired of being dinged up. You want to get back on the ice. I can see you're getting antsy watching it. I called a wrestling meet quite a few years ago with one of the former coaches of the wrestling team. And man, he couldn't sit still. I thought he was going to get out there and wrestle with him. <laughs> still working to get that sorted out. McDonald's still in there for a two-minute penalty. The two... Captain for Colorado still talking to the officials. McDonald gets a two minute tripping penalty. Billy Guthrow, like we mentioned earlier, got two minute roughing penalty and a 10 minute.